On my honour, I promise that I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to keep the Scout Law at all times. There are two important things I'd like you to notice in that promise. First is to do my duty to my country, and the second is to keep the Scout Law at all times. These two things are the foundations of the Scout Movement, the values and the principles of what it means to do good for the common good. I've been in the Scout Movement for more than 20 years, and it's through these values and principles and the camaraderie shared amongst youth my age that I've been able to experience many wonderful things in terms of becoming an engaged citizen. The way the Scout Movement is structured is to foster learning by doing and inclu including young people as leaders in the organisation. For this reason, there are many experiences I could share about how I was the youngest at the table. One pivotal moment marked my scouting experience, for it led me to a journey of advocacy, of protest art, of many different exploratory experiences as a young teenager. It was being nominated the first female of an important scout leadership camp. Being that leader was tough, it was grueling. A 10 day leadership camp out in the bush with very minimal resources. But it was a privilege to be acknowledged as the first woman that could accept that role and that could take on that role. But it did not come without its challenges. At that very young age, I still was confronted with the sexism and challenges that an older woman may have. And so it was from there that I again noticed my responsibility as a woman to not only defend myself, but for my community around me. And it is in those pivotal moments that I have been able to make an impact, a lasting impact, in many scout groups and many young women's lives in the scout movement.